everyone and welcome back to the channel. Yes, I've got a bit of post come through. I've got some pickups from CEX and some other bits all here. Um, so let's take a look at what's come. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do that last. That is something from the United States of America. So I've got a fair few bits here. I've got some CEX bits. Got to put them on the side. So in no particular order here. So I went to Asda. Um, I don't usually go to Asda. Me and the wife were in a certain area. We went in to look for some of their sausage meat because the Asda sausage meat is actually really nice. Um, and I wanted some of that. But while I was in there, they had a t-shirt. It was eight pound. It was a Mandalorian t-shirt and I picked it up. So that's the front there. This is the way with Mandalorian there. And on the back, we have a nice big back print, like so. Um, yeah, quite a nice t-shirt. Um, so I, I was quite pleased with that. They had my size, so I got that. Keeping with that Mandalorian theme, went to WH Smiths and they had this square bound graphic novel of the Mandalorian the graphic novel of season two with some spot glossing on the cover. I did get the graphic novel of season one um, a while ago when that came out or after it came out. Um, so I got this one to go along with that. And as you know, I like my comic books. So um, yeah, great, great stuff. So that's the Mandalorian season two graphic novel. Now let's get on to the CX stuff. Okay, so today we went out, um, we went to the garden centre and we went through Eltham. Now Eltham has got a CEX, I didn't know, do no recording in there, but I said to my missus, oh, do you, know, do you mind if I just jump out, jump in there, have a look what they've got. Um, won't do no filming, I said to her, because obviously that takes time. She goes, yeah, we got time. So out I jumped into the CEX and I picked up two items. The first one I picked up for £1.50 was Troll Hunter um, with a lovely lenticular on it. Now, I've not seen Troll Hunter, um, so it's a blind buy for me. Now, I don't generally do blind buys on full price items. Not anymore, anyway. I would have done back in time um, but I don't anymore so but I will blind buy in CEX on, on items that are cheap um, I don't mind taking that risk on an item because you're talking less than a cup of coffee you're talking less than what a rental would have been back in the day um, and this copy of Troll Hunter I know it's a foreign language film um, I believe it is anyway yeah, Norwegian film. And, you know, some of the Norwegian films have been really good. The the, the ones, the disaster ones that they've done were really good. Um, so I've got no problem watching that. It's got a lovely lenticular, like I said, which was in great condition for £1.50. So I picked that up. Now, the second one I picked up was the Belko Experiment, um, which is a film that I have seen back around when it first came out. Um, it's quite a violent film. It's about these individuals that are locked in like an office workspace. And, and as far as I remember, they have to kill one another it's for a social experiment or something. Um, like sort of last man standing kind of a scenario. So, um, yeah, so I picked that up. Um, and I remember it being quite an enjoyable film. So there's that. Slip cover and all. Um, like I said, that was, what was that, 350 So that was a fiver in there spent on them two items. That's fine. And then a big one, a big one. And this was a couple of days ago I picked this up. This isn't all today. Um, now, this one here, um, something I've wanted for a while. I contemplated getting the, comp you know, the individual seasons. It's a TV series, obviously, after saying that. Um, I did pick up one of the seasons, the very first. But it's basically, it's the Blu-ray set of um, Star Trek The Next Generation. It's not in the best of conditions. You've got a little bit missing there where it's been torn off the glue. Um, but I can just sharpie that. No issue. Um, and to be fair, the box has got a little tear in it going up that side. However, this was £42 for all seven seasons of Star Trek 
the next generation. I did check out all the discs, but what I'd done was actually traded in some stuff, so I ended up only paying six pounds for it um, after the trading of, of doubles and stuff like that that I've picked up. And yeah, so I was happy to get that. Um, I purposely went for this, went down for this with the trading stuff, because I knew they had this in stock in Lewisham Branch. However, I believed they had it in stock. Um, I went down there and it was the DVD box set that they had labelled up as the Blu-ray. Um, but then Deptford, no, no, sorry, not Deptford, Woolwich, which is another one not too far away, about three miles away, they had it on Blu-ray. Um, so thusly, it came from there with the trading vouchers. So I'm very happy to have that. Saves me hunting down the individual seasons. Done, dusted, got it in the collection obviously i did have them on dvd but these are like upgraded where they've been you know you know nukes and new special effects in there um tidied up for the blu-ray format so all very nice so i'm happy about that um uh, let's pick up this post so a bit of post that i got from the united states um ultimately i didn't have to import this in the end um you'll see why let's get it out so this here is the complete third season of and final season of Batwoman, the DC TV show. Um, that didn't go down too favourably. Um, I didn't particularly like the first season. However, as a comic sort of a completist, I get everything that's comic book related. Um, you know, because I remember a time when this stuff, none of this stuff existed and comic book movies were just a pipe dream so yeah so batwoman the complete season three third and final season um now i say that i didn't have to import it in the end um it's actually coming out over here we've got a uk release for it in december at some point um so had i known that i wouldn't have imported it but saying that it hasn't cost me any more to import it than what it would have done buying it brand new over here um so yeah obviously we get it in a thin case it does come with a slip like so but we still don't get superman and lois on blu-ray in this country just dvd um they were imported so i have ended up importing quite a few of these sort of titles um there is a digital code but um that'll go up there um it is one of those thin boxes disc art it has got disc art all the same, as you can see, sort of printing in there on it. But yeah, so um, I do have all of the... Well, I say I have all of them. I haven't really got black many. I think I've got season one and two of Black Lightning. I need to sort of complete them. Um, but I've got everything else that has been released thus far. So yeah, I'm quite happy about that being in the collection as well. It just adds to it. Um, yeah, so that was it. Those were my sort of post and pick up bits that, that have come through over the several past couple of days, um, three days or something like that. Um, you know, the drop off to this CEX was was just, I was just in the area. I thought I'd take a look. Um, like I said, that was a decent film. I enjoyed that. Um, I can't really remember it too much. It was when it first came out. So, you know, getting that was good. And... You know, I look forward to watching Troll Hunter. But there we go. So that was it. Those were my bits. Um, thank you for watching. Um, any comments, please drop them down below. Do reply to all comments, eventually. Um, I try to anyway. Um, and I'll see you all on the next one. Take care all and goodbye.